Hey guys, what's going on? We're going to jump into another one of the beers from the beer haul video that I did uh, two videos back. Uh, we already did one from Academia that was, uh, I like it when you call me Big Dipa, that West Coast IPA that was fantastic. We're going to jump into another one from Academia. This one is I Have Spoken, and this is an IPA with passion fruit. So, really cool can art. You know, it's some kind of god or something, I'm not really sure. Um, maybe somebody in the comments can let us know. Uh, but yeah, 7.5% alcohol by volume. This was canned on January 29th. Uh, it is currently March 9th. So, you know, we're still fresh. We're still fresh. Let's uh, get in the can or in the glass and see how the see how it goes. So we're using our Southern Grist glass tonight. Doesn't quite look like a New England style, so I don't know if that's what it's going for at all. It doesn't say anything about it. Uh, it just says IPA with passion fruit. So. Uh, it's got a nice uh, one finger with a head on there. And then as far as the appearance, it's like a, uh, like a deep, uh, deep gold color, I guess. Maybe close to orange. Looks a little darker on camera. But nice looking beer. Soap sudsy head on there. Looks good. Let's get our nose in it. Okay, so immediately up front, it's got like a tart uh, passion fruit um, character that stands out, you know, more so than anything else. Maybe a little bit of a citrus type of thing, um, maybe from the hops. It's very dominated by the passion fruit, though. It almost, on the initial, you know, you know, smell there, it kind of reminded me of like a sour almost. It's that tart smelling. It's got a little bit of a sweetness in there, it smells like. It smells good. Uh, I mean, it doesn't super, I mean, I, I don't think this is going for like a New England and Juicy IPA. It might be more, it's like a fruit, I mean, it is a fruited IPA, but um, yeah, yeah that's, that's what it's getting. It's exactly as advertised right now. Super passion fruit forward. Um, so let's taste it. Yeah, that's quite nice. Um, first thing I noticed on it was the mouthfeel. It's got a very velvety, um, soft mouthfeel on it. And as soon as you, um, you notice that, you're immediately greeted with that passion fruit that little bit of a tart passion fruit it's balanced really well there's not not much bitterness to speak of um, it's not like super sweet um, it, it's got a nice uh, balance like I said it, you know it's got a, a slight bitterness um, but that sweetness from uh, the passion fruit and the malt really kind of balance that out yeah I mean it's very enjoyable um, not a ton going on though completely to be honest with you doesn't drink like seven and a half percent I mean it's maybe it drinks like seven and a half basically what I was trying to say is it doesn't have any alcohol to be you know isn't it's undetected um, biggest takeaways from this one is the mouthfeel being super soft uh, it's got that tart passion fruit note, and then it's balanced really well. Yeah, I mean, not much else to say. It's it's it reminds me of like a sour IPA. Those that style that's going around, um, but not quite as sour um, as some of those beers. So. It's just a nice little bit of a tartness, you know, from that fruit. So, and I'm guessing they're brewed it with with it, or it was fermented with it. I, I don't know. It doesn't say. So, good beer. Untapped's giving it 3.65 right now. Um, I would. 
probably agree with that. I mean, like I said, it's not going to blow your hair back. It's nothing insane. It's just a well, well crafted, well balanced uh, fruited IPA. That's great. I, I mean, I like it. I could chug this all day. It's a very good warm weather beer. That's that's for sure. It's you can sit by the pool or sit out, you know, sit out on the deck and just go at these all day long. Um, you know, you might fill it later because it is seven and a half percent. But again, this is Academia Brewing, and this is I Have Spoken. Cool can art. Um, yeah, I definitely. I mean, I recommend it to you guys. I mean, if you're around the area, Academia puts out some killer stuff, and um, that's one of the breweries that I would really like to get, you know, down to Athens and visit. So, um, yeah, I mean, one of the better fruited IPAs I've had, you know, in the last several months. I haven't had a ton of them, but, um, yeah, it's a good beer. So, I definitely recommend it. Um, if you like what you see, uh, consider subscribing to the channel and, you know, keeping up with our videos. Um, you know, also, you could leave a comment and like. Uh, let me know what you're drinking. Uh, if you've had this beer, even better. Let's talk about it. So, um, anyway, guys, we'll talk to you guys in the next video. Cheers.